Hey everybody, welcome back to Fable Plays Monster Train. Yo, we're back with another recording session. Your boy has a new shirt. Dude, honestly, we need a win with Melting Remnant. So like, I think you just wanna, you wanna be a coward. And, and also, it's not even being a coward, look at that. Awoken's level 8. We need progress on these clans anyway, so you, you should play them. How's everyone else looking? Level 5, level 5, level 4. You're maxed out. You're, you're good, dude. You're set. You're happy. I love it. Okay, let's go. Covenant rank 4. Melting Remnant Awoken. I really want to get a win with the Melting Remnant because honestly, I think they might be like single-handedly the, the strongest. <laughs> like the strongest uh, clan in the game. Molten Encasement, Extinguish for Stealth. I think we know this isn't good. Restoration Detonation is nice. And then Memories of the Melted, Consume Gain 1. Yo, having this early is pretty good. We could do some, some decent things with it. Train Stewards, oh no. Damage Shield 2 and Multi Strike 1. But also, X cost cards get plus 3 to their X value when played. I mean, that plus Memories of the Melted could basically make us a god. But also, you, like, damn it, it's, okay. Advanced, you know what? I said, I said many days ago that if we get, yo, Burnout 3, but 60-60, yes, we make you a monster. I know it's what we did in the last episode, but for you, the last episode was yesterday. For me, the last episode was, like, two days ago. So, yeah, okay. I know I said... If we get the, the prototype early, we'll do a train steward run. And honestly, I I, I don't want to ruin this run, but I'm going to do it. Like, multi-strike and a damage shield is pretty good. I like It's not it's not great, but it is pretty good. And here I'm just like, you don't want to set this up, but you have a damage shield? Five, it, like, you still don't want to play you here, unfortunately. And honestly, it's not like we could play anything else here. So, like, you might as well just, like... I, I, I guess, like, straight up play these just to, like, get them out of the, the deck because they're not going to do anything for us. And they're probably going to, you know, it's going to be the thing that we wanted to have removed, I think, for sure. So, stealth. All right, you have armor because this is the thing that I chose to do. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Uh, dude, honestly, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. I think that we're going to, you're dying, huh? Why would you give everyone on this floor armor? Okay, it's a good start. It's a good start. Rage me. Brief respite. Okay. You're dying. You're burning out, which is really bad. Uh, okay, so this is Train Steward land. I, I understand that. That's fine. You're gonna get through, which sucks, but, like, honestly, like, what do you want from me? You get out of here. Get out of here, brother. And honestly, at this point, you put a drag. You gotta, like, try to stop him. You're gonna do one damage to the pyre. Does it matter? Yeah. Of course it matters. Everything matters in this game, dude. That's, like, the, that's the thing that people don't know about. So you're dying. That's fine. We, we really need, like... There's, there's no there's nothing we can do about you. You're out. And gaining energy doesn't do anything. Uh, we need to deal with um, enemies that aren't immediately in the front. Like, I'm thinking about the Seraph fight. Dude, on, like, straight up looking at this, and I'm like, how are we actually going to win? <laughs> but I'm thinking, like, that helps a lot. I'm thinking, like, think forward towards the Seraph fight. How does the Seraph fight always beat you? Wow, dude, this, like, this just sucks. Sure. Give me the energy for no reason. The Seraph fight always beats you... By having enemies hiding in the back that are annoying and hit for a lot of damage. So, like, my god, man. What a horrible start. Uh, honestly, the, the trial there probably wasn't worth it, but I don't care. Subsumming Blade, huh? I, I do want to keep things spicy. And honestly, the only reason why I would ever take this is if we get it early. But also, like... How we looking? How we looking? Merchant of Magic and Forgotten Boons. Merchant of Steel to upgrade. Like, are upgrading our train stewards, I guess. Steel, Merchant of Magic, and Pyre Remains. I think you hold off and, like, you grab it there. But also, maybe you just don't want it. Like, I think a draft is pretty good. Yeah, and Vine Grasp is literally what I was asking for. Deal three damage, move the unit to the front. We can use it. Now I'm like, okay, how do you want to do this? You want to have, like, an Animus of Speed and then, like, make her, like, really good? That could be a good thing. The problem is that we're going to need a lot of stuff to make her good. Our, our deck by default is better. It's just that, like, the first floor had the challenge of, like, you know, a little bit of armor, which we weren't necessarily ready to deal with. But I, I think, like, an Animus is fine. Especially if you give me a tank. Yo, okay, look. I know I always take the Awoken Hollow, but let me let me just say, there's a reason why that card has a gold gold rim, okay? It's because it's good. And now you don't want to give him quick. You want to, like... Make a quick draft? That's not bad, honestly. You already have quick, so you're not eligible. 
You want to make a, a damage shield 2 multi-strike 1 quick train steward? Not really. I think you want a quick draft. And then like... You want to make him last longer so he's hitting for he's hitting for 30 and he has 10 HP. There's really no reason to like burn him out. Actually, you know what? No, there is a reason. I want him to live longer. Living for two turns means he can put in some work. And now I'm like, you might as well give your tank a little bit of extra HP. Yes, yes, there was a point to be made about giving it to the Animus. However, as long as we don't deal with anything with like sweep or spikes. Yeah, like this is fine. And a unit draft. I'm, I'm kind of okay with this. Non-boss enemies gain plus four attack. Dude, it is spicy. I understand it's spicy. But it's the first run of the day. And we're playing with arguably... Two of the strongest clans in the game. So, like, let's keep things spicy. So, you having quickness for 25 is really good. We really got to find a way to, like, make it so that you don't burn out. Just because, like, that is going to cause a lot of issues in the future. And probably, like, issues right now. You know what? You're Dreg Floor. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's go. As long as we keep up with the DPS output, that's really the only thing that matters to me. And now I'm like, what do you want to do with an Awoken Hollow? You, I guess, do you want to keep them here to protect the boys here? But there are not going to be any boys here. A train steward up there does nothing for me. And straight up, I'll, I'll use that consume just to give them one regeneration. Is it worth it? Yeah. And if you don't think it is, you're a coward who's obviously never played this game. Get out of here! How you looking? How you looking? You're burning out. It's an issue. It is an issue. Train steward? Train steward? I mean, like, honestly, damage shield, like, it's, it's a weird thing, right? Because the train stewards are actually pretty good. You're taking 55, dude. Like, we're, we're not doing any damage. <laughs> How about that? Molten encasement doesn't do anything when he has spikes, you fool. How about now? 119, it's better. It is better, it is better. We gotta focus in our deck and decide, like, how we're actually gonna play this. Can you play, like, can you please stop giving me these? Oh, they don't hurt my pie or heal up. Okay, good. We got to decide sooner rather than later how we're going to play this deck. Are we going to go into the champion, which means we're going to need like something that helps with burnout? And Hollow Dripping does kind of help with burnout. Apply Burnout 3. Yeah. Fatal Melting's good, but I, we need to keep our champion alive. Otherwise, like there's no points. Sharpen and Spikes 4. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Pyre Grow. Draw one, enhance the draw card to cost zero. It's not bad, but it costs two. I mean, yes, we can make it cost less because I think there is another Merchant of Magic coming up. But also, I'm still thinking, like, maybe you want to upgrade your units, but also, like, I don't really know. But there is a Concealed Caverns. Do you need Pyre Remains? Probably, which means we're probably going to go for spells. 115. I mean, if we get lucky, we could get a holdover, and then we could just keep, like, explosive... Uh, I'm sorry, Restoration Detonation. And we could hold over that. I think, I don't know, man. Honestly, I'm like, maybe just give me the money on this one. And here I'm like, give me a sweeper. Gain 40 max health. Rejuvenate gain spikes too. It's, it's, it's not... I Give me a sweeper. Okay, okay. So I understand where this deck is going now. It's going to be going with high offense from our Awoken units and then support with a Melting Remnant. Straight up, I think that's how you want to do it. And now I'm looking at this and I'm like, maybe like because I've just been hit so much, I don't care about the Pyre health. I think I really do need Lady of the Reformed. None of these are Lady of the Reformed, so I'm a little upset. I'm just going to skip it, dude. Straight up, and now we, like, we make our units better. An Endless Unit, it could be good. I mean, like, an Endless Awoken Hollow might save us. It might save us. But honestly, everything else here is just, like, I, I just don't care. You don't want to give burnouts to any of, like, your, your good boys. A 35 quick unit is nice. But also, I think, like, a 13 sweeper is probably what you want to deal with there. And now I'm like, okay, give me a reroll. Multi-strike one! No, I don't have any money! <laughs> okay. Do you want to make you, like, 35 and a god? 23? I honestly think, like, you having a little bit of HP is probably, like, the best call for us. And we gotta start, like, we have a lot of stuff in this deck that's not doing anything for us. We gotta get rid of it. Restore Pyre Health. You know what? Since we have... What are you called? Memories of the Melted? We could actually use that as, like, a pseudo-Pyre Shards. Yes, it'll require us to, you know... 
get both of the cards at the same time, but I think it is like a decent plan. We're gonna have a lot of units dying. I mean, ideally not, but if we do, we're gonna get a lot of memories, and then therefore a lot of energies, and then therefore we're gonna keep things spicy. Let's go with a damage shield. Why are you having a damage shield, dude? Okay, you can like kind of survive for a bit. It's not a lot. But you can survive for a bit. And honestly, dude, let's just get rid of you. You're dying and you're a healer, so who cares about you? Do you really want, like, a, a train steward here? I think you just, like, you beef up this floor. And then you just, like, get ready. You're gonna burn out in two, that's okay. I don't know, man. It's, it's one of those runs where I'm like, this is fine. <laughs> you know, this is fine. I guess, like, sweep here. You gotta play that. I mean, eh, eh, eh. You know, you know, I mean, quick, you shouldn't have played that there. If a bomb goes up there, even if it has quick, they have damage shield. It's going to get through. Okay, thank you for not punishing me yet. Honestly, dude, keep you spicy. You have four turns, which which is a lot more than what you did before. I think, like, just so you don't get hit. I, I have respect for you. And you know what? Can't play a train steward. Okay. I don't, eh, that's not a good final stand floor. Have a drag, dude. We need more dregs to die. So in that situation, yeah, have them die. The more dregs that die, the more energy we get, the more we could heal. Of course, you know, we need them to show up at the same time, which really isn't going to happen. Yo, you know what? Do some spicy damage to the boss. That's good, baby. Have some more healing, baby. Let's go. You're dead. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Have some stealth, which doesn't really do anything for us. And really, I don't know, man. We can probably make the broth a little bit better if you want to invest some money into it. But, like, do you want to invest money into it? I mean, the answer is no. You're dying. You're dying. That's great. Are you dying? Yeah, but you're... you're who cares? You have burnout. Whatever. Restore. Restore. Bring you to the front. Now you're dead. You're still going to hit us for nine, which is, like, kind of okay. Really? Okay. Okay. Dude, I think we have a foundation here. Now the question is, like, you know, can the foundation, like, stay... You know, stick around? Yo, it worked! <laughs> We heal for 14. I think it's better to just do more damage to you, honestly. Right now, what's our weakness in this deck? It's the fact that our champion burns out, like, too soon, and we really don't have anything to deal with it. Like, that's, that's like, the, that's the big issue. Can't do anything, huh? 75. Do we not have any damage, dude? You're gonna die, like, immediately, which is not good. So a train steward has to go there. Dude, I hate it, man. We can't even play this because it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, we need, we need to find a way to keep our champion alive. You're dying. Okay, thank God. I was very happy for that. Hold on. Let's caffeinate. Caffeinate. And look at that. Very rarely do you walk out of a, a boss fight without with healing HP. Spreading spores. Do you just want to, like, say screw it and, like, this becomes an Awoken deck? We have so many. We have to, like, we, have, we only have 24 cards, but, like, a lot of them are, like, useless. Apply Endless to a friendly unit. We could, like, give this to our champion, which actually would be a good idea. Because then he just keeps coming back. I think you take it. Is it spicy? Yeah. Yo! It's the Legion of Wax! <laughs> Summon two Twins of Wax. Enhance them with all enhancement this card upgrade... Uh, end card upgrades on this unit. So I've been told that Legion of Wax is... Probably one of the best cards in the game by, like, quite a few people. Do we have a way to upgrade him? Forgotten Boons. You're not gonna give me a way to upgrade him? Merchant of Trinkets, Merchant of Magic. Merchant of Steel isn't until the Wildwoods, dude. What are you doing to me? We're gonna take him. I I've... Look, I've been told if you have him, you have him. And if you take him, you take him. And now, honestly, dude, I think you're gonna... It's gonna be a wild choice here. Hold on. What's our... What's our energy... You're only two? That's pretty good. Maybe you do want capacity so that you can play more with the Legion of Wax. Because right now he's not that good. But I he gets good, apparently. Maybe you do want draw? This is a rare one where I think you take the draw. We don't need more energy. And capacity really isn't like an issue for us. So I think you take the draw. Now I'm like, Hellvent to, to duplicate everything would be nice. But I honestly, dude, I don't think we need another unit. Especially one that's not going to be upgraded. I think you play it safe here. You restore a little bit. It sucks too, but like, chance to remove all buff effects. Precious plating. Pyre gaining like, what's what's like better? Your pyre being able to hit take like a few more hits or like removing buffs. 
You know what? Screw it. We have the advanced prototype, so we might as well make everything useless. Why not, dude? Okay, okay. Now we have to, like, we have to actually get rid of some stuff. And straight up, since the train stewards are actually pretty good, I think you get rid of the dregs. It's a spicy floor, just because we're not getting any, like, immediate upgrades, but... An 85-85 that we could turn endless is pretty good, but we really need to, like, we really need to, like, start balling, like, sooner rather than later. Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. I can't allow that. You're gonna be doing 12 damage. That's, like, way too much. Even for a random artifact, it's too spicy. Well, all right. Why not, dude? You know, it's the way I look at it. You just gotta go sometimes. Okay, you're doing four. You, you're doing eight. You're doing twelve. Perfect. You love to see it. Let's. Well, I mean, like, really, what's the point? Sweep and slay. Well, I guess like in this situation, like, yeah, you can set up this floor as like a little bit spicy. And now he has endless. You're gonna encamp, but you're both dying, which is great. Legion of Wax. He can't play, which you know, sure. I guess you just want to get a drag out of the way. So now, like. One of our one of our main issues with this uh, with this deck has been at the very least solved. We're not gonna get you. I mean, we could get you. Do I want money? I do want money. Do you want a train steward up there though? That, that's the real question. Or would you rather heal you a bit? You know what? I do kind of want a train. I want the money. I want the money. The main issue with this deck is that this dude just kept dying like some sort of weird coward. Oh, dude! I, now I, now I'm like, dude. I wish I did in fact have a. Uh, a little bit more capacity to play the Animus of Speed. But I mean, you behind the tank is fine too. We need to, we need healing, okay. No, but we can't, we can't keep needing different things, dude. He's back, he's back. Yo, you live. Live longer. Get out of here. Beautiful. Dude, honestly, this, I think it's going well. Then Here you go, your train steward floor. Congratulations, have a bomb too. All right, dude, this is going well. And, and straight up, I think you do that. We're at full pyre health, why would you do that? Why'd you do that, you fool? All right, well, you get some extra HP. You're living for five more? That's like a decent amount. You dying? You're not dying. You're gonna live like just a, just enough. How about now? Now you're dying, you fool. Okay, okay. This is the boss that I was a little concerned about. You know, the fight after Daedalus, if you make it past Daedalus, the fight after Daedalus is usually like a danger boy. Sting spells gain 20 magic power. I mean, I'll take it. I don't think it's worth taking the money. And if, if anything, now it's like maybe you, sh you can look out for stings, but I don't know, man. Reform two random units. Deal damage to enemy units equal to three times the number of friendly unit deaths. Honestly, I think our deck is like, it's too late for all this. Restore 30 health and apply regen. But can we make you better? Merchant of Magic and Crystalline Caverns is coming up. I don't think we need to remove any more right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, Restoring Retreat, we can make like a super floor with that, plus it heals, so it's like not good. And also, worst case scenario, we could use it to get like an enemy the hell away from like whatever we don't want it to be next to. So, even though we don't need the Pyre Health, we're gonna go here. I, there are spells that, yo, with the double stack though, but literally nothing here is good. <laughs> you doing 13, I think, is like good for the Seraph fight. Just so we could take care of some of those 20 hitting enemies that have like 5 HP. So that's that's not bad. I like that. Upgrading a spell to cost less would also be pretty good. And honestly, all these spells are like pretty cheap. I think you being cheaper is like a good way to go. We could also like remove a card. And, and honestly, dude, get rid of the dregs. They're unneeded. Legion of Wax, I promise you I'm going to do whatever I can to make it good. And I guess, like, really, your whole thing is, like, keeping our boy alive. But he's endless. But also, like, endless doesn't help with bosses. It just helps getting to the boss. So I think, like, that is a good upgrade. And, and straight up, I don't want to, like, I don't want to reroll anymore. Save the money. When you play your first blood card each turn, restore Pyre Health. I think you want to take the, the Remnants. Plus one for every Blight card in your deck? Yeah. So they get plus two. Just for existing and we have to deal with one extra dead weight. It's not bad. Playing a Blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. But it's three energy, dude. If we had other Blight cards, then sure. And also, I don't want to bloat our deck. I know I think we always take the massive stones. But I mean, hey, babe, what, what can you say? Sometimes you got to go with what you know, you know? All right. Okay, good. 
every enemy or every allied unit has now become a little bit stronger a little bit more spicy and this way i hate you get out of here i don't want to do your challenge okay this one needs caffeine okay i know how to deal with this how do you do this it's very simple straight up you set up your big boy floor here that's that's beautiful that's beautiful you set up your big boy floor here and you need to get him to full hp he needs to survive basically to tank hits that's that's like all he's there for and now i'm like you want to like make this even better i think you like you no but we don't need you it's it's spicy it, i understand it's spicy we don't need you to hit well no we do because it's gonna take out the stealth it doesn't matter it's too late it's too late but now you know in the future Honestly, like, you guys are pumping out way too much damage for me right now. Okay, yes, this is good. You live longer, you live so much longer. Vine Grasp, we could get rid of... Eh, hey, you're dying. How you looking? You're, you're taking damage. We really don't have many, like, good restore cards here. Why would you do that? That just made them all stronger. Honestly, dude, a train steward with, like, a damage shield actually is pretty good against this boss. I think we're setting it up properly. The problem is the boss also does, like, a trillion damage. Okay, you... Ooh, I think we need you to be endless. I hate saying it, but I really think we need you to be endless, dude. Just because you're probably going to die. And if you die, I'm going to be very upset about that. Is it dangerous? Yes. But I, I, I do genuinely and truthfully think that... First of all, thank you so much for this. But if he dies, we can put him... No, we can't put him up there. We need to get rid of these train stewards, dude. You got to remember capacity. Are you dead? You're not even taking damage? Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. How about now? You're still not taking damage, you coward! You're dying in four, which is really not good. Please tell me that, like, your stealth is gone, at least. You still have stealth, dude! Well? Okay, 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 okay. Go 13. not enough <laughs> why don't you have hp dude you do 50 damage to you you know what yo check this out it's really not as good as i thought it would it would always be fun yeah okay i'm dumb i'm dumb oopsie daisy you're taking 300 oh man oh man okay we shouldn't die we shouldn't die. But, like, also, it's gonna suck. Legion of Wax, get out of here, dude. Train stewards. I mean, they're doing, like, they're doing damage. Don't get me wrong. We just, like, can't really do anything with them, unfortunately. Like, if I just send you, do you just, like, drop? What if I just send you? I don't want to heal you. Get out. Okay, okay. It's, honestly, I hate saying it, but the damage shield actually did some work. We did take damage, but really, did we? Because we have the precious plating. So, in a way, we're still good. Okay, I hate it. I hate it. Apply Stealth 2. Reform and Enhance with an additional 10 attack. Remove all debuff effect and friend from friendly units and all buff effects. Honestly, that sounds pretty good. But I think not getting hit for two turns is probably better. I hate saying it. And honestly, dude, at this point, I'm like, I don't want any of this. Actually, Wildwood Custodian to draw one each turn isn't bad for one capacity. It does make up for its place in the deck. Dude, I really want Legion of Wax to, like, pog out of control. Oh, we can upgrade it. Okay. Give me some good stuff. Him with quick could be good. What else do you have? What else do you have? Upgrade with 5 attack and 10 HP. It's not bad. But I think like I think you definitely want to give him quick. It's still not good though. Like he needs like so much to be good. Upgrading him cuz remember, so basically he dies he becomes another unit. Do you want to make him 33? And if you don't want him to be quick, who do you want to give quickness to? Because really, there's nothing like there's nothing here that you want quick. Well, I mean, you like you do you you do you do you do. But we really don't have that much money, also. And I'm like, maybe you want to upgrade him, try to get a multi strike. So I think like a little bit of HP. I know, I know. And then you reroll and like hope for multi strike. It's still, like, it's not that good, but it's good, you know? 
And honestly, you, like, upgrading to, like, a 35 is, like, really nice for me. Because, like, we can work with that. Now you heal up. You keep trimming the fat from the deck, and you get rid of what's, like, what's not working. And honestly, dude, I hate saying it, but you don't need four of these train stewards. And it does make it a little bit easier in the future to, like, upgrade them if you want to. And now we're fighting Fel, dude. I feel like we really shouldn't be on Fel right now. But I will say... I've noticed that I've, and maybe this is a bad thing because it means that I'm dying a lot, but I'm able to get up to like, I'm, I'm getting to the bosses relatively quickly. This shouldn't be too bad. This shouldn't be too bad. This shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, dude, this should not be too bad. Is it, it's a dangerous way that you want to start this off. You're only taking six, which honestly, like, whatever, dude. You want to have like a multi-strike too? You want to make this like a Legion of Wax floor? I think, oh, and he also becomes like a god. Okay. Okay, you're a Legion of Wax Floor. We're still looking for ways to make you better, don't get me wrong, but... You know, we're basically gonna... Do, hold on, I know we're fighting, but like, Crystalline Caverns... We have one coming up, which might be able to give us, like, a good, like, a, a large stone on him, which would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, you know what? There you go. We got more draw now. Even though you're endless, I don't want you to burn out right away. And this, it kind of sucks, because you do want... You know what? You do want your Sweeper down here. Well, you 13, why do you have 20 armor? <laughs> why do you have 20 armor, dude? That's ridiculous. That's way too much armor. Okay, well now I'm like, I think you gotta play that here. You gotta play that here. And you just have to like, kind of like deal with it for a bit. I hate saying it, but dude, 20 armor is no joke, man. Stop giving him 10 armor, you monster! We can restore. Hold on. You, get out. You're dying, you're dying, you're dying. That's great. You're doing... I, I love it. I love to see it. We don't want you in the back. I mean, you want to just say, like, screw it and turn you into super floor? You know what? Screw it. Let's turn you into super floor. Welcome to super floor. Okay. Yo, oh, okay. They're gonna get through. We're basically allowing the pyre to get hit for like six damage, who cares? And then like everything just dies on its way back up. Hopefully, ideally, anyway. Okay, Vine Grasp. I, I would like for you to not have any armor, but really that's not up to me, huh? I think you train steward here, as weird as it sounds, just to like soak up the hit. Get rid of your armor. You're dying, you're getting through. Might have made a mistake there. Oopsie daisy. Have a little bit of stealth. You have six turns left on you, dude. That's that's fine with me, man. Nothing should be able to get past this. How are you? What do you mean 67 damage? You only have 67 damage you're pumping out here? That's unacceptable, dude. Regenerate. Honestly, get back down. I don't, I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> let me hit. Let me hit. Let me speak to your manager. Okay, okay, okay. Vine Grasp. Get out. You get plus two? Of course you get plus two. Why wouldn't you? Restore. That's good. Restore. You're dead. You're taking 70. I think you need a you need a, you need a quick boy up here. It's not enough, but at least you're gonna kill the guardian. And also you're quick, so like I don't think anything on this fight's gonna have spikes or sweeps, so we should be fine. Dude, honestly, man, like you have done so much for us. But I need you to do like just a little bit more. You're still not dying, dude. How about now? Okay, better. Have more? We, we don't need... We, we have, like, really no need for all of our, like, you know, for this, basically. You're taking 216, huh? At this point, I'm like, let's just get you ready. Sure. Have a little bit, have a little bit of damage on the house, baby. Just send a unit. Restore. I, you go down to, like, the mega floor. Good. Okay. Okay. Is, is this enough? Thank God it's enough. I'm so happy. <laughs> Good. Kill it. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, if that's not enough to take out Fel, I, like our deck is just, it's screwed, dude. I like the, oh, look at him splitting, baby. He splits into more children? The dude splits how many times? That's incredible. Spikes are, no, we don't care about spikes. Spikes. Consume, friendly unit with plus three attack, apply burnout one. Honestly, we can use it, but uh, straight up, I just don't think we take anything, dude. 
And more energy. Energy, like, honestly, energy hasn't been an issue. Draw would be nice. Straight up, dude. I, I'm a new, I'm a, I'm a new gamer right now. We take draw. Draw is like the best upgrade. And now we risk things. It's spicy. It's spicy. Let me upgrade a unit. You're not letting me upgrade a unit. Two damage and slay. It. Sure. Give me the petty theft. We could use it to kill some enemies, maybe. I, I do like it for that. But that's it, really. Alright. What upgrades you got? Upgrading unit with endless. It's not bad. Like, honestly, like an awoken hollow that's endless is good. An animus of speed with endless is really good because chances are you're the one who's going to be dying now that you think about it. And straight up, I think that's what you want to do. Because now we could use her and not worry about it. And you having, like, basic spikes is actually pretty good. Or would you rather just have, like, more attack? <coughs> Excuse me. Honest, I think you do have more attack. We don't want to give you, like, we don't want to give our custodian attack. Because then it's liable of killing itself. And yeah, you becoming a 150-150 uh, is pretty decent. I really don't see why you wouldn't want that. I'm, I'm concerned about the Seraph fight. But... 20 armor for $400? Get out of here. It's not like I took the relic that actually makes our pyre like a god if we do, in fact, do that. But no. Hmm. It's not... I am concerned about the Seraphite, but, like, for different reasons. You have 120 freaking armor? Like, HP? That's ridiculous, dude. And you sweep? Maybe you sweep for two. Who cares? Oh, dude, no. It's great because you just die here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you set up this floor. This floor is, like, the, the, the danger zone. No, you're dying. Who cares? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Honestly, this floor is a little bit spicier. But you're endless. And we do have to get endless on you within three turns, which is... It is dangerous, but we do draw, like, seven cards a turn. So, like, honestly, who cares, dude? Why? No! I wanted to play the Legion of Wax! I, I saw the heal. What did I play? Restoration Detonation. Why did I take all of my... Okay, where is this Ember Drain coming from? I, like, I don't understand where the Ember Drain is coming from. Is this like, is it a, is it like a, a modifier with a boss that I'm missing? There is no Ember Drain. You came at like the best possible time. Thank you. So you're living, you're living, dude, which is, which is amazing. We have so much dead weight. We have a lot more dead weight than I thought we did. Okay, hold on. Legion of Wax. You're four capacity. We can play you up here and just basically get more draw. You're dying. And really, like, we're good. We are good. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay. What, why is, where's the Ember Drain coming from? I do not understand. I really do not understand. Okay, but you need to... I'm thinking. Hold on. You do need to become Endless. But also, I'm like... kind of want you to heal for a bit. Is this going to last, like, six more turns? You getting through sucks. But... I think it's. I think our one energy is better spent healing our tank, and then like just killing you. Yeah, and honestly, get out of my. Just get out. Just get out. I, I don't need you in my deck right now. I really don't understand where this Ember Drain's coming from. Is it? What is happening? Apply Ember Drain to one of the attacked units, dude. It's you. It's always been you. Okay. Well. Dude, you, you're, you're gonna hit me for four damage. I don't care. But also, I, I don't care. How much do I not care? These guys suck. Okay, now I get it. I get it. I understand. Okay, 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 okay. You're burning out in five. I think, like, we just want to catch you. It's gonna... Basically, you're gonna hit us for two instead of four, which is fine. But now you're giving me so much Ember Drain! Oh! We could get one energy. You know what? Straight up. I think you do it, and then I think you, you, you keep your girl alive, even though she's endless. It's, it's a weird one. I hate this. I hate this. When did this, like, when did this become like this? You're taking 555, huh? I, I think you restore you down, because you're going to die and come back next turn, and then we could ideally play you if we could actually get rid of the Ember Drain stuff. You're going to hit us for, you're going to hit us for four, whatever. I don't care about you. 
This is it, dude. I dislike this. Our HP still good. HP still good. 17. Really, like, we're not looking at much damage here, honestly. I think so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You do want to play you, because you will come back. Now you're at 134. Give me, like, one free hit. Now you're at 190. It's really not that good. There's nothing here that we could really do, honestly. You want a vine grass, but that only makes him more like more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I think yeah, you give him like a little bit of regen. It's dude, it's spicy, but it's getting there. And now I'm like, can I have my Legion of Wax, please? I would really like to have my Legion of Wax. You're doing 21 damage? What are you out of control? 21 damage to the pyre. He has 380 left. My god, man. Okay, you gotta. You gotta. Now he's at 117. It's not bad. But really, there's like nothing else. Like, sure. Lower him as much as possible. Doesn't matter if he's gonna gain attack because you have your stealth anyway. If I just. No, there's no point in healing you either. There's really no point in healing you. 250. Ah, no! Dude, why? Why do they have Under Drain? They have 130 HP, but they also cause Ember Drain. Are you out of your goddamn mind? I'm actually salty. Hey, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fate Trap. My name is Fairville. Thank you for watching. Dude, 36 minutes. That's pretty fast. I'll see you next time. Let's go.